Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Supermatics Online Math. In today's math tutorial, I will be solving some math problems that have to do with trigonometric substitution. So the first of these problems is to express m minus n over the product of m and n in the form p plus q times the square root of r, given that m is tan 30 degrees and n is tan 45 degrees. So m minus n over the product of m n is going to be tan 30 degrees minus tan 45 degrees over the product of tan 30 and tan 45. Since the answer is to be in radical form, tan 30 degrees is 1 over root 3 and tan 45 degrees is 1. Therefore, m minus n over the product m n becomes 1 over root 3 for tan 30 minus 1 for tan 45 over the product of 1 over root 3 and 1. This can be written as 1 over root 3 minus 1 for the numerator divided by 1 over root 3 for the denominator, that is the product of 1 over root 3 and 1. Then the least common multiple of the numerator is root 3. That's going to be 1 minus root 3, expressing both as equivalent fractions. Then the division sign is changed to multiplication with an attendant reversal of the fraction after the sign, giving us root 3 over 1 or just root 3. Then the root 3 here in the numerator cancels out the root 3 in the denominator. The expression that we're going to have left is 1 minus root 3. Since this is to be expressed in the form P plus Q root R, we can say that by comparing the coefficient, p is 1, q is negative 1, which is the coefficient of the radical, while r is 3, the number under the radical sign. Do not leave yet. There is another beautiful one that we will solve together. However, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, why not click on the subscribe button now and hit the notification bell for updates on a regular basis from this channel. Now over to the second one. In the second problem, we're given that sine p is 8 over 17, so we have to find the value of tan p over 1 plus 2 tan p. The first thing we do here is to try and draw a right triangle. Having drawn the right triangle, let us take angle p to be here. And the sign of any angle is the ratio of its opposite side, which is here as 8, to the hypotenuse side, the longest side, which is 17. So the third side or the adjacent side, we're going to represent that using k. And by Pythagoras' theorem, we have that the square of the side k must be equal to the difference between the square of the hypotenuse side and the opposite side. That is 289 minus 64. That is 225. So to get the length of the side k, we're going to be taking the square root, the positive one, of 225. Which means that the value of the side, the length of the side k, is 15 units. Now that we have the length of the side k, we can find the ratio of the tangent of the angle P. The ratio of the tangent of the angle P, tan P, is the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. That is 8 over 15. Now this can be substituted into the 
expression tan p over 1 plus 2 tan p and then simpl simplified and this becomes 8 over 15 divided by 1 plus 2 times 8 over 15 that becomes 8 over 15 over 1 plus 16 over 15 so we get them separated into the numerator 8 over 15 divided by the denominator which is 1 plus 16 over 15 8 over 15 divided by 1 can be written as 15 over 15 as an equivalent fraction with 15 as the LCM or the denominator plus 16 over 15 thus giving us 8 over 15 divided by 31 over 15 then the division symbol is changed to multiplication to give us 15 over 31 when the fraction is reversed where 15 take out 15 and finally we have 8 over 31 as the value of the expression i believe you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions comments contribution feel free to share them with me in the comment section give this video a like and help us share it and finally if you're yet to subscribe to this channel click the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any updates from this channel thank you for watching this video have a lovely day bye